Hello, my name is Alex, and we are back with the Kraken unboxing video. This is part two of the videos, uh, in which case we're going to do some size comparison so that you get a feel of how actually big he is. Now, we're going to be using a standard tiny miniature from Whiskey's collection. This is a Cobalt. He's one of his. Uh, tiny. We're going to be using a medium sized, which is a stone golem from the previous set. And we're going to be using a standard uh, player size miniature, which is a lich from Monster Menagerie 2. But uh, he, this is the approximately same, well, not even approximate, this is the same about size. Of every other player size miniatures from Whiskit so far. Let's move the tentacles. We don't need at least half of them. Let's move the scenery. All right. So this is the Kraken. And first, this is the tiny little cobalt. That is your size comparison as of right now. As you can tell, the cobalt doesn't even come close to the size of the wave on the Kraken itself. If we move the claw of the Kraken, he is covering the whole entire cobalt. Just the actual size of the claw itself. Now we're going to take player size. There's your comparison to player, to player size to the Kraken. Now it is worth mentioning that if this would be a good representation of average size human that would fight a Kraken, I think that that is one small thing versus one giant miniature or creature being. And this is the size comparison to minute to medium size creatures. He is still being dwarfed, uh, except for not that much, by the Kraken himself. Tentacle wise, if we're gonna bring tentacles into this, which we are, there's your comparison to the tentacles. I apologize for being all over the place, but um, yes, so this is your largest tentacle that comes in with the incentive, and this is what they compare to the size. So yeah, definitely is something to behold when it comes to actual size proportions. This way everybody gets a feel of... If they're planning on using it or having it or owning it, now you know what this compares to average size, small, medium, large, I'm sorry, tiny, medium, and human size creatures. Now we're going to compare it to something else. Uh, to show you another example, I'm going to bring out a Baumat, and I don't care if people don't like the way I pronounce them, but that's how I do. Baumat Gargantua Dragon. This is the Platinum Baumat Dragon. Let me 
this was this is considered by their definition a gargantuan figure. The Kraken is just as big. Wee. Sorry about that, as I said. The Kraken is just as big. Just as well detailed. I do apologize for the dust on the base. I haven't used them in a while. But uh, he is, I would say, just as big as him. And, um, yeah. To bring back our guinea pigs. Huge, big, and uncompromising, uncompromising in its killing potential. So, what do I think about this case incentive, case incentive overall? Uh, it is honestly worth buying. Uh, I was completely and utterly disappointed by the case incentive from Tomb of Annihilation. Granted, I don't know what exactly I thought it would be, uh, but... Uh, it was disappointing. That's why I believe it's still the cheapest one on the market today. Kraken, on the other hand, he is worth the money. You buy, you pay, and you own a proper miniature that is one of the iconic creatures of D&D when it comes to world killing potential. Would I like to see from them going forward? I would love to see if they're a, a Terescu. Taras Terescu? Uh, I think that would be amazing. I would love for them to re reprint a Hydra uh, and go on for whatever is the next sets of Dungeons and Dragons, Wizkids, uh, Miniatures. The big guys, the scary, scary big guys. Um, we already had plenty of beholders. Giants have been reprinted many, many a times. Um, we had illithids, mind flayers, and all that stuff, fun stuff. We don't need it. I believe it. when you're buying a case of these miniatures, which can cost up to $400, $500, it needs to be something epic. This is definitely it. It's worth the money. If not for the pieces of sand and the little, you know, wheel sort of decoration and a chest, then definitely for the Kraken and the tentacles. As I said before, you get six of these. Um, thank you so much for watching. I highly appreciate it if you wasted your time. Um, if you think you wasted your time, I am sorry. Uh, I don't make professional videos, can, videos, as you can tell. This is more of a uh, letting the community know what's happening. Uh, I personally was lucky enough to pick this guy up from my favorite uh, game store in Brooklyn, which is uh, Brooklyn Strategies. If you guys are ever there, check them out. No, I don't work for them, but they do have a bunch of cool stuff, and I am lucky enough to pick this guy up from them. So, yeah, thanks all for watching. I apologize for wasting your time. If I did, uh, click like if you liked the video. Click don't like if you didn't like the video. Uh, if you have comments, questions, concerns, please comment below. I'm more than happy to answer whatever it is the case. Uh, and if you have any suggestions on how to make this stuff, the videos or this stuff better, let me know. Thanks a lot. Take care.